as I like kind of I felt like I've had like three careers so I got injured I won a slam then I came back and I like there's been a lot of like different moments for me but I would say that the pressure at every angle has been very different in terms of like at the beginning the pressure was just like Ooh, am I like going to be in the top 50? Like, am I going to be able to like get into the top 20? And then it was like, okay, am I ever going to win a grand slam or am I ever going to get to top 10 or whatever it was? And I think once you kind of like check those boxes off, like the pressure becomes like, okay, how much more money can I make? Or how, like, how good can I get my ranking or whatever it is? Like how many tournaments can I win? Or I haven't won this tournament. I want to win this tournament. Like I said, I think the the pressure just kind of evolves like in your own mind, like as a player and like things that you've done in your career and that you want to do more of. Exactly. Um, But when I like first started, like the goal wasn't like, oh, I I definitely want to be number one in the world. Like, Did it ever become that at any point? No, I mean, it would have been nice. Like it would have been great to be number one in the world, but Winning a Grand Slam at home and coming off of an injury and not playing for seven, eight months, however long I was out, being 900 of the world, winning a slam, like, I don't think I could have, like, written it any better. Yeah. So I think, like, if that was my, like, really great opportunity in tennis, like, I wouldn't change it for, like, to be number one in the world for a week, no. Yeah. And that hasn't changed since since that week. No, like I said, at the beginning of, like, my career, I, I, that wasn't, like, my goal. Like, I was literally just playing because it was fun. Yeah. And, like, I enjoyed it, and I was good at it. You mentioned the game being fun, but there's, like, this narrative about you that you don't enjoy playing. Like, you look like you don't care. It's yeah, everyone thinks I hate it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but long does everybody go to work every day and is like, I fucking love it here? Like, <laughs> like no, absolutely not. I think so, it's, like unrealistic to be like i wake up every day and go to practice and i'm like this is the best thing that's ever happened to me (laughs) (laughs) when you're playing a match and you're enjoying it what is the difference like what can we see in your face or in your i guess demeanor that's different than when you're having a a rougher time out there i don't know because i feel like there's been some times where i've been like oh my god that match was so fun like it was so competitive like i really loved it and they're like you look like a dead horse out there like (laughs) what's wrong with you and i'm like i actually thought i had a good time but i mean so i don't know i think everyone's like narrative again again these are people who are like betting on matches who like have are like you know have something in the race it's like like, story yeah it's always like the storyline but i'm like if you look at like what they say about I don't know, I don't even know, like, a random player. Like, Madison Keys, like, her narrative is, like, totally different. And they're like, why doesn't she hit more aces? Why didn't she do, like, it's like there's always going to be some okay. sort of whatever. But, like, every time that I actually feel like I'm like, oh, my God, I was, like, really high energy today. And I thought I did really well. They're like, why do you look, like, casket ready? And I'm like. <laughs> and how do you deal with it? Does it bother you at all? Uh, no. I mean, they've, I've had so many crazy, mean, psychotic things said to me. I'm mm-hmm. just like. Whatever. I mean, at I, the end of the day, the press room can't be as bad as the Instagram DMs. To, to oh, that. yeah. So. I mean, I've been through, like, FBI cases and, no like, way. all types of stuff, like, Speak from people. Like you you said what? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I've what just had, like, <laughs> <laughs> terrible experiences, like, online. And, yeah, people have gone to jail for, like, yeah, harassing me on the Internet. I mean, mm-hmm. It's, like, a real thing. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the clip. The full episode will be in the description down below. Go check it out for a full episode with Sloan Stevens. Hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos on our channel. Thanks for watching.